Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare. <clears throat> so first of all, you sent, you're going to send out an email to tell everyone. Just tell people that we're going to, I'm going to do this class, but Don is hosting for us. <laughs> I can't hear you. I still can't tell what you're saying. The camera's rolling. Oh. <laughs> Can you bring it back? <laughs> <laughs> It, can you restart this thing so that I will start saying something at the beginning of this? Or? Are we starting? Um, well, please excuse, excuse the delay on this. I wasn't aware of exactly when we were starting. <clears throat> I'd like to say Hare Krishna to everyone. Um, my name is Don, and what I would like to do, my goal here, is to um, give a perspective from a congregational point of view of what Bhakti Churu Swami meant to Seattle. <clears throat> Uh, to, to give you a nutshell, in 1978, I became a life member with uh, ISKCON, and my life's goals made a total paradigm shift that resulted in working to keep the temple doors open. When I first started coming here, I had no motive for anything, but I just saw that things were going on and that the congregation needed to help. So. 
after having read um, many of the Srimad Bhagavatam cantos, I realized the importance of this knowledge and the importance of the uh, making sure that this temple stayed alive. Um, that being said, things did get extremely hard, and by 1992, uh, things were looking really bleak. And in 1992, somehow or other, Krishna sent Hari Vilas Prabhu uh, to help. And over time, the temple began to flourish because Hari Vilas rolled up his sleeves and he went to work using Prabhupada's methods. Uh, he gave prasadam to people. He chanted Hare Krishna. He took care of the deities. He gave um, Bhagavad Gita classes. He was doing all of this by himself, he and his, and his wife, pretty much. So th I know that things were going well because I watched it happen. It was magical and I really liked it and I have been on his side ever since I realized that he was serious. Around 2013-14, Maya's friend Envy came to visit us and pretty much caused an earthquake in the solidarity of this house that would have changed not only the management but also the total direction of this temple. Uh, the congregation was coming to an us and them mentality that was very unhealthy. You know, Hari Vilas Prabhu had spent over 10 years working hard to build up this temple. He had saved Prabhupada's third temple. Now we needed someone to save the temple again and now save Hari Vilas too. What was heartbreaking to me personally was that this force came from within ISKCON. It was ourselves. Uh, later, uh, I found out that Bhakti Churu Swami had come to Hari Vilas support. Now, I had no idea of their uh, deep friendship or, you know, how long it had, had been going on, but I just knew that someone had come to give us some help. Uh, I wrote to him, and adamantly, I was supporting my friend. As a life member, I was pained greatly. A congregational member, I was pained because of what we were going through, and it was not necessary. Um, I felt that Bhakti Chiru Swami was very sensitive <clears throat> because in one of the letters that I wrote to him, he wrote back to me in these words, thank you very much for your appreciation for Hari Vilas Prabhu and his wonderful service to Srila Prabhupada. This year during GBC meeting, we are going to deal with this issue and I am quite hopeful that we will be able to conclude this chapter. Just see how positive remark that he had, had brought forward to us. So those words brought much hope for our future here. What I could see in Maharaj was what Hari Vilas addressed a couple of days ago. In uh, quoting the Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, chapter 16, verses 26 through 30, uh, Dharma the bull is talking to the earth, and he is describing qualities of the Supreme Lord. And one of those qualities is the quality of daya, and it means intolerance of another's unhappiness. And this is the reason I am before you. This is part of who he was, Bhakti Charu Swami. He could see the big picture when people were hurting, and he was able to use his Krishna consciousness to solve a complex situation. He and Ramai Swami, together with their influence, saved Hari Vilas and largely saved this whole congregation. When he finally came to Seattle with Ramai Swami, I had the opportunity, <laughs> a great opportunity, to actually meet and talk with him. During that conversation, I again expressed my uh, the importance of the support and faith in Hari Vilas Prabhu. After we finished, he stood up and asked, may I embrace you? Well, anybody that knows me knows that I'm a hugger, and for a, uh, a sannyasi to say something like that to me would just made me very, very delighted and, and happy about it. <laughs> that won me over right there for sure. Uh, 
Then another thing I wanted to share with you is that uh, uh, when Bhakti Chiru Swami was serving Srila Prabhupada um, in India, there was a, the governor of Madras and his brother-in-law came, and they were big people. Now, his brother-in-law was a, you know, was a big industrialist in India, and they were having a conversation with Sri Prabhupada, and after it had gone on for some time, uh, these gentlemen asked if the devotees could be excused so that they could um, have a private conversation with Sri Prabhupada. Well, <clears throat> Prabhupada um, honored that, and asked the devotees to leave, and Bhakti Chiru Swami was one of those devotees. Well, on his way out, he pressed the record button on Srila Prabhupada's tape recorder. <laughs> and later, when uh, the devotees listened to it, it uh, the, the two were asking Prabhupada who he would leave his legacy to. Who was he going to choose to be his successor? Well, Prabhupada replied that he was leaving his legacy to all of his disciples. And whoever followed would have his legacy. Well, the years have passed and time has shown that His Holiness Bhakti Chiru Maharaja's actions have followed Prabhupada's desires. His Holiness Bhakti Chiru uh, followed and he held Prabhupada's legacy most honorably. God bless him and all glories to Srila, um, to His uh, Holiness Bhakti Chiru Swami. Thank you very much.